Okay guys, one good hit with the axe, it actually fell apart. Um, blade was all the way down into there. I actually had it almost split. <laughs> but just being held by the log and the vertical stress, it just couldn't hold up. But, you know, being a D2 tool steel is really hard, so it gets brittle. What I was saying before, even if you break the knife, look, I could use that to skin something. No problem. Still sharp. You know? And you guys are all wor worried about, uh, you know, if CFK actually takes care of their customers. You know, they won't tell you where they're out of. England, USA, China, Pakistan, whatever. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you all these pieces and chunks in a box tomorrow. To wherever it says you got to ship it to and I'll see how many days it takes for me to get something back in the mail and uh, I'll let you guys know see if they stand behind their product you know and I'm sure any of your custom knife makers if you sent them a knife back and showed them the video I just did abusing it they'd probably tell you go pound salt just simple as that. I mean, you're taking somebody's work of art and beating the hell out of it. This here don't really matter so much. Um, you know, got all the pieces in the car. Sorry, I'm facing the ground, but you know, that was a big log too. And I guarantee, when I put this knife through, you wouldn't put any one of yours through. Because the first two things I'd have you do is cut that nail and then drive it just as far as you could in a piece of wood and then hit it sideways and see how it holds up. And I think you probably right be about the same. You know? I'm still considering it a good knife, man. I really am. Peace out.